Hey guys, uh, this will be the number two of the new tutorial series of uh, QMC in 32. And uh, today I'm going to talk about the uh, sound engine. Uh, let me explain a little uh, brief about the sound engine. The sound engine is a kind of art. So everything in 32 has a kind of unique uh, oscillators, filters, and a unique signal path. And, uh, the tunes, uh, the sound engine, um, the each module works independently, just like a real modular. Mm -hmm. So when you uh, hit the note every time, the result will be different. And the two oscillators can be configured, and uh, one and two, and the three and the four is a kind of copy of a one oscillator one and the two. It supports uh, up to four voices. And uh, one of uh, kind of unique thing about uh, the sound engine is a lot of uh, gain stages to control harmonics. Two stages of uh, envelope generators and uh, also it has web folder. So you have uh, plenty of control about uh, gain stages. And uh, all exposed parameters can be changed via MIDI. And uh, this is a signal diagram of the the synthesizer oscillator can make a basic wave shapes like a square or sine wave and also the you can choose a line in or the sampler output as a oscillator source the envelope generators can be applied to the oscillator output and then it goes a uh, filter and uh, other stuff I will explain it later. Well, the basic thing about uh, the sound engine is uh, the voice mode. The voice mode, uh, there are four voice mode uh, as possible. And uh, the first one is mono. Mono is uh, just mono, it, which is the default. So for example, so like this, um, you can only play one voice. It works uh, great with uh, glide control, used for, for synth lead or a bass. In the mono mode, uh, oscillator 1 and oscillator 2 combine together. And uh, the second one is a uh, quad mode. Oscillator 1 and oscillator 2 uh, will be separated and uh, support up to four voices. Um, let me try to set it to quad mode. So now I can um, play up to four voices. And the other one is a, uh, the third one is a P parallel mono. It's kind of confusing naming, uh, but in this mode, uh, it's kind, it's just like a mono mode, but uh, you can play two voices oscillator one and oscillator two will be combined and the last one is a p quad parallel quad and this is basically only useful when you have multiple q synthesizers so i'm gonna just skip it and the other the useful parameter parameter in this page is a velocity and if it's on it will be velocity sensitive like this. I'm gonna turn it off for now. Probably one of the one one thing it's kind of uh, unique about the synthesizer is uh, a lot of uh, gain stages in the sound engine. So and also probably it's kind of hard to understand at the beginning because the signal diagram is only information to explain this. So let me explain how it works. So the first one is, uh, I mean, the, the initial signal is generated from oscillators. Uh, it will be, you know, a sine wave or a soul wave, square wave, or could be uh, the sound from a sampler or a granular. Also, it's possible uh, the source could be um, like external input, like line in or mic input. First, the gain control applied would be the envelope generators. 
So, for example, if I go envelope generator page and then if I set it, let me let me set the voice mode back to mono and then go uh, envelope page and then and then the sound will be like this and the so the default routing is uh, using a envelope generator one for oscillator one but uh, you can change it if you want and the one one interesting thing is uh, using on and uh, if you set it to on then the uh, in this mode uh, sound is always on and it's basically good for drone sound so for example then now it's on and then something like this so I just uh, set it back to envelope generator 1 for now and uh, it goes so after the envelope generator uh, it goes a mixer section so it oscillator 1 and the make 2 or other voices mix it together here let me enable oscillator 2 by changing a mix operation mix parameter here so mix is about 50 maybe I will change the the shape of the oscillator 2 to square And um, maybe a little bit of a uh, slightly off tune. Okay, and then um, after the mixer section, uh, it goes a VCF volume. This is a kind of important parameter. Uh, it's gonna this is the one and then it's gonna change the volume uh, just before it goes to filter so you can hit the clipping point if you want and the default setting of a web folder is just normal clipping but uh, if you change it to something more aggressive so it doesn't change much but uh, if I increase the PC volume maybe I will it's easy to understand if I Use a sine wave and then maybe so wave the combination. Like this. So the wave folder is kinda very good way to add the harmonics just by increasing the VCF volume and after the after the wave folder section it goes to filter so it has a um, low pass high pass band pass or notch filter and uh, also you can choose uh, the two pole or four pole and uh, of course the uh, cutoff and uh, resonance <laughs> Mm 
and uh, you can also apply filter envelope so I just set it to the envelope generator 2 as a filter envelope source and then maybe you can do something like this and then uh, uh, enable uh, some uh, increase the modulation volume when you select a two pole filter uh, you can uh, use a second filter so second filter is a kind of fixed filter but uh, you can uh, shape the sound if you need it so I'm not gonna use it uh, for now so the next one is uh, you can uh, apply another envelope generator after the filter so let's try this thing is on and then this thing is on so now so now the the sound is always ringing and then if i go here and then the default is on but if i change it to easy one then it stops because uh um this controls uh the envelope generator after the filter Okay, last module of the sound engine is effector. So you can select the effect. Like this. And the last one is a rec volume. This is uh, the kind of master volume control of the sound engine. Um, to change it, press this button and the turn the dial. Normally, the so default value is a uh, minus six. And uh, normally you don't need to change it unless uh, you, need, uh, you need to control the record input to the looper. And then the signal goes to looper and then the, at the end there is a compressor but i'm not gonna so here it's controlling the compressor but i'm not gonna edit it today okay so let's initialize the preset So the next thing is a PWM. Uh, PWM can be applied to the, not only limited to square wave. If you apply the PWM to the square wave and then uh, it works as expected, just like other synthesizer. And uh, all this, um, the PWM can be applied to the triangle as well. And then in this case, it will add the extra harmonics as well as DC bias. And uh, if you apply PWM to the sampler or granular, it will change the sample playing starting point. So it will be uh, kind of interesting results sometimes. And uh, if um, you apply PWM to the sine wave, it's kind of interesting. It will apply wave folding um, in the oscillator. So actually uh, it has two stages of wave folding in this sound engine. And then in LFO, um, the PWM will act a little different. The sine and the soul wave only in the LFO will change the offset of the phase when it's retriggered. 
let me uh, reset the preset and then let me make a kind of uh, key. I'm not sure it's how it's going to be, but uh, let me make another preset. So this time I use a uh, quad mode. One thing I forgot to mention is uh, in a quad mode, the, there is a, a very convenient uh, shortcut to synchronize the oscillator one, the oscillator two parameter. For example, uh, right now it's quad mode. And then if, uh, let's say if I set it to something like this and then change the wave shape to sine wave and then as you hear the second voice and the, the fourth voice is uh, using a uh, oscillator 2's parameter so the the sound is co inconsistent uh, between voices but uh, there is a shortcut to synchronize uh, the parameter between the oscillator 1 and the oscillator 2. Uh, to do that, uh, long press button 7 in the in this sub mode, and then it says OSC is synced. So now Now it's uh, synchronized, but uh, you know, you can intentionally uh, unsynchronize uh, two voices. So for example, if I set it to, if I change the octave, the, the playing note will be sometimes unexpected. So it's kind of interesting thing to do. And uh, let's set the second oscillator as a square. And then put some PWM, PWM modulation to the, the first oscillator. Then let's uh, set this
So right now, um, I turn, I change. I changed the the envelope generator of uh, oscillate for oscillator two and the four is on. So it, the the oscillate that means the oscillator two and the four is always on. Let's add uh, some effect. <laughs> <laughs> 